Hello again, Dr. Andre Pinesett, the Pre-Med Productivity Expert, and I am answering one of your questions. The question is, what are special master's programs for pre-meds, and should I do one? How do they affect me? And I don't think this person is talking about post back programs, because that's a whole separate topic, but post back programs are nice if you need a lot of help in your GPA, or if you need a lot of prerequisites that you don't already have. That's what post back is for. People who take master's degrees are often looking for ways to make themselves more competitive for medical school. I think it's a bad way to do that. Um, it doesn't really help your GPA because medical schools know that master's programs are inflated artificially. It is easy to get A's and B's in master's classes just for showing up because a lot of the classes are discussion based, right? It's higher level, it's free form. Um, undergrad classes, medical schools know, are much harder and so they tend to lean on those grades more. So doing a master's program is not gonna help your GPA. What it can do is something that I call enhancing your scholarly potential. And scholarly potential is one of the six major domains that medical schools look at in assessing you. And if you're not familiar with the six domains, I want you to check my website, premedproductivity.com. I'll be releasing a course uh, online in September of 2016 that's gonna go over all these six domains and what they are and how you can strategically be the best in each area. But one of the areas is scholarly potential. That a lot of people interpret it as research, right? They say, oh, you have to do research. You don't have to do research. Research is not required for medical school. Scholarly potential, on the other hand, is. And scholarly potential kind of falls into three major categories. It's research, it's teaching slash tutoring, or it's mentoring. You have to do one of those three things, preferably all three things, to really show that you are a scholar. And one of the ways you can show you're a scholar is actually by doing a master's because there may be some research built in, but even if there's not, it's advanced study, diving into an area, making you an expert. And so that makes you a scholar, right? In whatever area it is. And now you're bringing all that scholarliness to the medical school <laughs> in the form of scholarly potential. So you've just made yourself more competitive in that way. However, I will say, again, don't do a master's program to enhance your resume for medical school because it's too expensive, it takes too much time, and it's a lot of work, guys. If you don't, <laughs> Right? If you're not into a subject, you're not going to have fun studying it in depth for two years. So the only time you should be doing a master's program is if you're genuinely interested in the subject and you want to study it to study it, not to better yourself for medical school. It's about bettering yourself for yourself. So that's what I have to say about master's programs. Send me your questions, guys. I'll answer them on here. And please, please, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Tell a friend. Bring a friend with you. Let's blow this thing up. The Premier Productivity Expert. Dr. Roger Pinesett, I'll see you guys later.